Hi, Les from Flamins. I'm here today to talk to you about the Diamond C F-Max Series Industrial Tandem Dually Equipment Trainers. About three years ago, Diamond C hit the uh, industry with a bit of a, uh, a hot button with changing up the way they're designing their trailers. Uh, Diamond C went away from conventional 12 inch IB mainframe and manufacture all their frames in house. Uh, what this really means to the customer is a couple things. Number one is we shed about five to 600 pounds on weight on every one of our trailers. And uh, the frame strength ends up uh, increasing by 35%. A couple things that Diamond C does is you'll notice right off the start of the gooseneck, they go away from the traditional cut lines on the gooseneck. Everything is all radius to transfer a lot of the stress points on the gooseneck. Um, the frame itself, it's a 16 inch beam on most trailers until some axle ratings you get up to an 18 inch beam. Basically what, what they're doing is they've, uh, they've taken the beam itself, tapered it where the axles are. We've cut all the cross members through the frame to bring the deck height down by about three and a half inches and it's also got a noticeable camber in the trailer. The reason for the camber, a lot of people ask, is really when you load that trailer up, it takes that, that what we call pot belling out of the trailer. It eliminates the sag, which, which is pretty traditional with mild beam trailers. A couple of things that they've changed on this, uh, on the 2020 model and uh, into 2021 is they've uh, gone away from traditional steps and everything is all retractable. Makes it easy to get up on the trailer, which is nice. This trailer here is equipped with a, uh, with a winch mount and receiver tube. So if, that, if you ever wanted to add an inch at a later date, a winch at a later date, it's, you're capable of doing so. And everything comes standard with a spare tire carrier. Another great change uh, with Diamond C is the size of their toolbox. They've really gone to a nice deep box with gas shocks on, uh, on, uh, on the lids of their toolbox for easy access. Nice touch. As well, you'll notice that uh, all Diamond C F-Max series traders come with the heavier rub rail stake pockets every two feet and spool spacers in between all that, all the stake pockets. Really what that does, it almost gives you a tie down point if you're chaining every foot as these spools are you allowed to chain through them. A couple other things, this trader here is actually the F-Max 212 series. It's equipped with two 12,000 pound axles, tandem dually. One other nice little change that uh, Diamond C has made this year, they've gone to Velcrum uh, seals on all their, uh, or caps on all their axles, just eliminating the issue with leakage and, uh, and, caps, and caps cracking. Another nice little touch with Diamond C is all their traders are equipped with a mid-step and a mid-turn signal. Just a nice way if you got to get up on your equipment to be able to get up and on. One of the biggest changes of which, uh, you know, anybody who's flipped over ramps as many times as I have in 25 years is they really listened to their customers when it came to the beaver tail. Uh, Diamond C had re redesigned their beaver tails now, so it's actually a true double acting spring assisted ramp. Literally one hand, ramp comes over and comes back. Truly, there's not too many traders in the industry you can do that with. Another little recent change just within the last couple months is they've gone to an actual lockout clamp style uh, ramp holder, which just eliminates the chatter on the ramp when the trader's going down the road. Another nice little touch with the Diamond C traders, you'll notice all the beaver tails are fully cleated all the way up the ramps, right over into the, onto the dovetail all the way up. Even a nice little touch, they've gone to a little bit of a transition piece which creates a bit of a double break on the beaver tail for loading. Just to eliminate that rock over if you're loading track equipment. Another great touch with the Diamond C trailer is all their trailers in excess of uh, 30 feet all have the sway control. So basically what sway control is, it's a pipe welded just ahead of the axle to about two thirds up the deck that's welded in between the frame rails. And what that allows is the trailer flexes if you're putting pallets or bales on this trailer, frame flexes. All that tube does is basically brings that trailer back almost like a memory is really what it does, so you don't get over twisting on the deck with all Diamond C trailers. Another quick note to make, you'll notice I talked about the 16 inch beam which is continuously welded on the, uh, on the outside uh, flange of the trailer. Because it's a 16 inch beam, we also taper that beam up where the axles sit, very much like a typical semi-trailer. Last but not least with Diamond C is they've gone to a full mold injected harness on their trailers. Really an Arctiflex cable that deals well with uh, our Canadian winters. You'll find this throughout the whole frame, all butt end connectors, our elimination of all butt end connectors were all twist lock, just eliminating any, any issues when it comes to uh, winter and wiring, which don't get along very well. And finally, Diamond C trailers are all bead blasted, zinc rich primered, and powder coat top coat. Diamond C trailers in this configuration come from anywhere from two sevens to all the way up to three 12,000 pound axles. Give us a call for more information and so we can price the right trailer out for you. Flamin.com. Thanks for your time.